Hey there, it is Ryan G. Wright here at DoHardMoney.com. Uh, today we're gonna be talking about how much money do you need to invest in real estate. It really comes down to your strategy. You can do real estate investing with little to no money down. You can also do real estate investing with millions of dollars. It depends on what type of investor you are. You see, the more money you have, the less effort you typically have to put into it. The less money you put into it, the more effort you typically have. So let's just start talking about people that have lots of money. If you had $50,000, $100,000, or millions of dollars, you can actually put your money with somebody else that is doing a project. Let's maybe say a commercial project where it's an apartment complex. They may be raising 30 or 40, 30, three or four million dollars in a syndication or maybe as much as 50 million dollars for a big type project. And basically the way they do that is they get a loan from a bank and then the difference, the down payment, that 20 to 40 percent they raise from multiple people and you become a small owner in that overall project. And you do that by putting up some money. You'll typically get a preferred rate of return on your money and then you'll get some profit or upside. That's basically in doing a structure like that is putting up your money um, and you're getting a return on your investment. Um, so that's one way that you can do investing and that would take hundreds of thousands of dollars or even more if you got it. Another way that you can invest in real estate is by doing fix and flips. Um, you buy the property, you fix the property up, and you sell it. Um, you can, if you find the right hard money lender, get the purchase and the rehab included, but lots of times you're gonna have to come up with closing costs, and if you don't buy the property, if it's a home run type deal, um, you can get those things included, but if it's not an amazing deal, you may have to come up with some of those costs as well, maybe some of the rehab or all the rehab, and maybe get 100% of the purchase, or you may get 100% of the purchase and 100% of the rehab, or you may get 100% of the purchase, the rehab, and some closing costs. But that's something to keep in mind. Now, the great thing about that is that money doesn't have to be yours necessarily. That money can come from uh, credit card finance, it could come from a business line of credit, it could come from a 401k, it could come from friends and family, it could come from um, yeah, a family member. I mean, it, there's a variety of different ways where that money can actually come from so that you can get it started in real estate investing with little to no money, um, which is what people are really looking to do. Now, let's say that we're doing a Burr type deal, which is buy, renovate, rehab, and um, and do it and repeat. So basically you're buying the property, you're fixing the property up, you're renting the property, and then you're refinancing the property. So if you're doing that type of a strategy and you get the right hard money lender, they can give you the purchase and the rehab if it's a good enough deal, and you can get going with very little to no money. I think at a minimum, you probably need about $5,000. Um, but let's talk about marketing just for a minute. Uh, if you're not willing to spend some money on marketing, postcards, skip trace, um, and doing voice broadcasts, emails, those types of things, then you're gonna have to be knocking on doors, and that's gonna take a lot of effort. So the more money you can put into it, the faster you'll see results, and the less man powers you'll have to be putting into it. The less money you can put into it, the more man hours, and the longer duration in calendar days it'll take you before you start seeing success. And so you've gotta be careful that you don't give up too early. It's something I see a lot of investors do. Uh, the other thing that we need to talk about is wholesaling. The art of wholesaling is simply finding a property, putting that property under contract, contract and selling that contract to somebody else. It really doesn't cost any money other than some earnest money of 50 or $100, except for finding the properties. And this is the key that I keep coming back to is, it really just depends on how much effort and time you wanna put into it. The more effort you wanna put into it, um, you're going to see results are gonna take longer to get um, because if you can spend money in doing these types of marketing efforts, that money will get you faster results. And so it's something to take in consideration. So we're just talking about how much money you need to have to invest in real estate. The answer is it depends. But it starts with how much money are you gonna spend on marketing? Are you gonna do marketing yourself by knocking on doors? Um, are you gonna do marketing yourself by talking to people and networking with attorneys, uh, networking with uh, probate attorneys, networking with title companies? Um, are you going to do that? Are you gonna do some cold calling on your own? If so, plan on it taking you a longer time to find properties and plan on you having to spend lots of hours to do that. If you're gonna do marketing, we're gonna send postcards and skip trace and voice broadcasts and emails and set up a website, then it's not gonna take as long, although it will take quite a bit of effort to do it. So that's the first thing when it comes to the amount of money it takes to invest in real estate. The other part of that is the strategy that you're planning to invest in. And if you're planning on doing wholesaling, you won't need a whole lot of money to do that. If you're planning on fix and flip, you'll need some 
more money in most cases um, than you do if you're doing a wholesale deal. Um, if you're planning on renting the property, you could be doing a bird deal with little to no money, or you may want to put 20% down to lower your, your payments so you can get a higher amount of profit when it comes to the rent. You may want to do that as well. And then lastly, as we talked about, just being a cash investor where you're putting your cash up and letting your cash work for you. That could be through doing a syndication type deal that we talked about earlier, or by doing like hard money lending where you're actually lending the money. So there's a bunch of different ways um, in, in real estate investing. And likewise, it, there's a bunch of uh, different amounts of money you may need to have for those investments.